Um, for those that don't know me, my name is Samantha Harrison. I'm from Oklahoma. Come from the Osage and Ponca tribe here. Um, everybody just calls me Sam. And uh, tonight we're going to be doing some restorative yoga. So if you guys want to grab us some props, like a blanket, pillows. Um, if you don't have a yoga block, uh, just a thick book, auto work, uh, maybe the same shape as a block. Um, <clears throat> and can everybody hear me okay? You see me okay? Okay, great. Um, so <clears throat> first we're going to do some time in breathing and that really just helps us tie um, our body and mind together and sets the tone for the entire class. So let's all um, just get comfortable for this breath work. It's gonna um, be in Savasana. So you can just make your way to your mat lying down. And I like to do um, some box breathing. Um, and you can rest your hands on your belly and your chest or you can have them um, beside you, palms up, just whatever feels good to you. Um, some people like to feel the breath um, enter and leave their body. So just whatever you find feels good to you. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. And when we inhale, we're going to do it for four seconds. Then we're going to hold it for four seconds. And then we're going to exhale for four seconds. So let's all inhale through our nose for one, two, three, four, hold it, one, two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, inhale, one, two, three, four, hold it, one, two, three, four, and exhale, one, two, three, four, Inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold it for one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold it, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Now at the top of this inhale, go ahead and take another sip of air and hold it. One, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Um, this box of breathing really helps reset your breath. Um, so if you are in a situation where you have a lot of anxiety or stress, um, you can do this box breathing. Navy SEALs used to do it um, just to help calm them down, just lower their heart rate and blood pressure, and it um, really works well. And when we take that little sip of air at the top of our inhale, that's going to strengthen our lungs. It's a muscle that we need to work out too, so I think that's really important, especially during this pandemic. So we're gonna go ahead and um, come into our first pose, which will be legs up the wall. So if you wanna find an empty wall and just sit with your hip right next to it, and then you're just gonna kind of pivot, throwing those legs up the wall and then scooting it as close to the wall as you can. Um, if you find this to be not sustainable for you, you can bring the bottoms of your feet, bending your knees, and bring the bottoms of your feet on the wall. Uh, you'll still get the benefits of the pose, but if you can, try to straighten your legs out on the wall. And this is a really great pose to do before bedtime as it promotes relaxation and really just encourages rest. So um, maybe if you have some trouble sleeping at night, um, go ahead and just, you know, even from your bed, just throw those legs up the wall and just melt into this posture. Go ahead and connect back with your breath. Really melting into the floor here. 
If you need any kind of props, like a blanket or an eye cover, or even like a pillow to rest your head on, um, feel free to grab those, uh, make any adjustments as necessary. Just to really sink into this pose, relaxing your mind and your body. Hello, Liz. If you're joining us, we're gonna do, we're doing legs up the wall. So if you want to find um, an empty wall, you can set your hip right up against it and then just pivot around, throwing your legs up the wall. Rest, you can rest your feet, um, bending your knees on the wall, um, or you can just straighten them out. Either way, you'll still get the benefits of the pose. And um, I was saying it really promotes relaxation and encourages rest. So if you ever have trouble sleeping, um, it would be a great pose to do right before bedtime. And if you need any props, like a blanket, um, feel free to grab that and just really relax into this pose. This pose changes everything. As you elevate your legs, this pose will bring relief to your heart. Your perspective changes as you can only look up. You are supported all along the back of your body by the ground and the wall. Remain here. You can feel relief turn into impatience, then morph into acceptance and other feelings. What was comfortable can become uncomfortable with uncomfortable moving to neutral or pleasant. The idea of admitting you are powerless may be a relief, then a challenge, then again, a relief. So too, the idea of one's life being unmanageable may offer a moment of confirmation, then a feeling of obstinacy may arise. In time, you may release back into acceptance. This pose can feel alternately great, then uncomfortable, and then delicious once again. So take some breaths, um, focus really on your breathing, allow your eyes to gently close if they're not already. Don't think about, um, you know, anything else except being present in this moment, being present here in your body and your mind and your spirit. And whenever you um, feel your mind start to wander, maybe you just start focusing in on your breath again. All right, so we're going to go ahead, if your knees aren't already bent, go ahead and bend your knees, placing your feet on the wall, and just take a couple of breaths here, noticing any differences in your um, body, mind, spirit, breath. And then we're going to raise our right or um, left arm, whichever. Um, whichever way is gonna be the easiest for you to roll to. And we're slowly just going to roll to that side, using our arm as a pillow. 
in that fetal position. Our first yoga pose in our mother's wombs. Last time we felt completely safe and peaceful. And then slowly using your top arm to push yourself up into a seated position. You're just gonna kind of pivot around, extending your legs, leaning back against the wall for support. Taking a couple breaths here. Again, checking in with your body and your mind. Just take a few moments to think about how your body feels after the pose, maybe what your emotional landscape is now. And there's no you know, right or wrong thoughts here. Just take some notes, mental notes to remind yourself later. And for our next pose, we're going to go ahead and come into tabletop position. Then we're gonna spread our knees out wide, grabbing a pillow or a blanket, um, or even, you know, if you wanna use a block, and we're just going to set our hips down on our heels, coming into child's pose, resting our forehead on um, whatever prop, you know, we want to use. And just really allowing yourself to melt into the ground again. If um, you need any props, maybe under your, um, legs or, you know, whatever you're going to need, uh, go ahead and grab it. Just whatever will help you be able to sustain this position. Maybe a folded blanket between your thighs and your heels or a towel. Um, you can use um, whatever it is you have, but you can also take a reverse prayer hand here. Or if it's um, better for you, you can just rest your hands, kind of embracing your, the back of your neck and your head. And just kind of hold yourself, show yourself some love and compassion in this pose. Release your cares. Take a moment and return to sanity, body, mind, and spirit. Looking for comfort in this pose, practice maneuvering yourself around using props so that there's minimum pressure on your joints, especially your hips and knees. This pose represents a break, a breath between doing one thing and another. It's time to resuscitate yourself and come to your senses, all of them, including your thoughts, your view of your thoughts, the sensations in your body, and your views and opinions about how you feel in your body, mind, and spirit. Also called the pose of wisdom, this pose that allows us to let it be. Which with each breath that you take, just let yourself really sink into this pose. So let's bring our hands on the floor beneath our shoulders, pushing the earth away from us as we rise up to a seated position. 
you can keep your eyes closed if you'd like. Just extending your legs out in front of you. Taking a couple of breaths. And don't, don't feel rushed um, out of these poses or into these poses. You wanna really take your time um, gently with your body, going slowly, not rushing, you have time. We have time to just slow down and relax tonight during this full moon. Just check in again with your mind, body, spirit. Maybe thinking about what your relationship is with your health and your higher power at the moment. So for this next posture, we're gonna need um, a block or a thick book and uh, a bolster pillow if you have one. If not, you can just use um, a couple pillows or um, I have my big couch cushions here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our block at the top of our mat. And then we're just going to put our pillow on it, kind of making a ramp here. And we're going to sit at the very edge of it. And you also wanna make sure you have room to extend your legs. And we're gonna slowly vertebrae by vertebrae, just lower our body on this little ramp we've created. Now remember, use all the props you need to support your body in these postures. We're showing our body love tonight. So take more than what you need. And if it's too much, you can take it away. Um, maybe, because um, we're gonna extend our arms to a T with our palms up. If that is too much on your shoulders, uh, maybe put a cushion or a towel underneath them. Just giving them that extra support. Our chest is going to be open. Um, also, maybe you want to roll up a blanket or put another pillow there to support your head. So like I said, whatever it is that you need, your body's needing, listen to your body. Take that time to give it that extra support it needs tonight. This modified line pose supports the back and opens your heart. You are supported by or put in the care of the props. To become willing to be cared for, allow yourself to use as many props as you need and to find comfort in this pose. Permit yourself the privilege of resting and testing the waters to see what works. You may think that you don't need towels for your arms or pillows, but when you get into the pose and you stay there for a while, um, maybe your shoulders start to ache and you will remember that you could have cared for yourself a little better by allowing the props to support you. It happens to all of us. Use more than you need, then move them away if you like. Just take a moment to make yourself comfortable in this pose. Really opening your heart and just sinking in um, and the support of your props and into the earth. Maybe it's not comfortable for your legs to be extended. Maybe you want to bend your knees and rest your feet on the ground. Or maybe you want to put the soles of your feet together and let your knees um, flop out into butterfly pose. Kind of play around with it, just feeling um, what works best for you.
If your knees are not bent with feet flat on the ground, please move to that position. Raise your arms up, reaching your hands toward the ceiling. And then bend your elbows and drawing the arms in and rolling to the side as you push yourself into a seated position. You can extend your legs again. Just taking a moment, taking it slow. And we're gonna prepare for our next posture, which is going to be a forward fold. So you wanna get a pillow or maybe a rolled up towel or blanket, and you're just gonna put that right under your knees, surely giving them that support. Um, then you're going to use either your bolster or you can use um, just giant pillows, um, making a pile just so that you can really fold forward into this mountain of props that you have made for yourself. Kind of play around with it, um, maybe hugging that pillow, leaning forward. Release any tension you have. Resting your head down, gently closing your eyes. Coming back to your breath again and really sinking into this forward fold. Playing with all these props just to figure out what feels best for you. Forward folds are soothing and inward looking poses. It is difficult to learn or do any sort of introspection when we are tense or troubled. This forward fold can calm the mind and loosen the kinks that may prevent honest introspection and discourse. All right, let's slowly bring our hands to our sides, just walking ourselves straight up. And then continue to walk your hands till they're behind you, like a kickstand, and dropping your head back and just looking up. Really good counter stretch here. Take a couple of breaths. And slowly walking your hands 
back into your upright as we prepare for our next posture. So this is one of my favorites. Um, you just need a big pillow um, or a few big pillows. You just wanna make them just like right on your mat, maybe halfway up and then maybe another pillow or a rolled blanket at the top of it. And you're just gonna sit with your hip right on the edge of this, um, you know, prop that you've created here, um, your pillows. And you're going to bend your legs, kind of kicking them behind you. And then we're going to twist our torso until it's hovering right above these pillows here and slowly walk your hands forward. Now, if you want to continue the twist and turn your head away from your legs, then just gently resting it down onto your pillows, or you can just have it facing the same way as your bent legs, whatever is sustainable for you. Just keep in mind, whatever you do for one side, we're gonna do for the other, because we gotta do the twist on the other side, just stay even. Taking a few breaths, um, making whatever adjustments you need to make it sustainable for you. Twists are said to be detoxifying, which I think is super helpful for restoration is what we all came in search of tonight. Just to purge ourselves of things that no longer serve us. You are now ready to ask to be relieved of the excesses that have manifested themselves into negative, unhelpful behavior patterns. You do this while asking for support. You don't rely on doing it yourself. You allow for help. Just move in the direction of the twist and then release into the power of the twist. We want to be detox detoxified of those attributes that no longer serve others or us. Letting it all go here in these postures. Restoring our minds, our bodies, and our spirits. On this full moon. All right, let's slowly use our hands, pushing the earth away from us. Gently coming out of this twist, we're going to put our back to our pillows, our props, putting them behind us, extending your legs. And then I want you to inhale, big deep breath for me, and then let it out. And we're gonna do the same thing, but on the other side. So you are welcome to just turn around um, facing your back towards me. I'm just going to flip my pillow on the other side, putting it right up on my hip again, kicking my legs out behind me. Then I'm gonna twist my body 
towards my bolster pillow here and gently, slowly walking my hands down. Um, and whatever you did on your other side, do the same thing on this side. So if you face behind you, just really creating that twist all through your spine, um, do that. Or if you just faced in front of you, do that. So whatever you did for one side, do for the other. Just coming back to your breath here, really sinking and melting into this twist. Um, this background music, I don't know if you hear it, but it is our, some of our um, traditional Ponca songs that some of my family members, um, ancestors almost, our elders that some have passed on, composed themselves. Um, and I thought it would be good for tonight just because I feel like whenever we're in meditation and we hear, you know, words or, you know, music, we kind of, um, let our mind wonder, maybe it might trigger a memory or, um, you know, you never know how people feel about, you know, so I thought it would be good, um, relaxing. It's very soothing to me. Um, hope you guys enjoy it. Hope it helps you relax and I hope it helps you, um, kind of clear your mind and, All right, so again, we're going to slowly using our hands, pushing the earth away from us, bringing ourselves to a seated position, just kind of turning our back to our bolster, extending our legs, keeping your eyes closed if you'd like. I'm sitting up and take a big breath for me, just inhale. Through your nose and exhale through your mouth with attention. All right, so our next posture, you're going to put your um, bolster pillow, if you have one, like lengthwise along your mat. So up towards the top of your mat here. And then um, if you have a big pillow, uh, like this bolster pillow, maybe you want to put a block right above it where your head will go and then a pillow over it. And then just turning your body around, extending your legs. This um, bolster or pillow is going to go right underneath your shoulder blades. So your shoulders are hanging off um, and your head is resting on the block and pillow. So your throat and your chest are really open here. Your arms are in a T. And remember using whatever props you need, um, maybe for your arms or, you know, and always if you, if you take too many props, you can always take away. You're just, it's um, letting your feet flop open. This is our supported fish pose. Now fish pose is a pose that opens your throat and your heart. Your head will be connected with the ground close to your crown. So you can connect with internally and externally focused compassion. Your throat will be open and stretched to help you speak your truth. 
to prepare to speak your truth, you want to turn tune into your voice, your source of authentic expression. It is also an opportunity to stay connected with your true self. Um, you can also bring a blanket if you want. Or some eye covers, whatever you need to feel this pose, but for to make this pose sustainable to you. Increase the pressure on your arms and carefully tip your chin to your chest as you lift up your head. Roll to one side and extract the prop that was behind your back. Lie back down on the mat without the prop. So you're just gonna lie down right on your mat here and just regular savasana or corpse pose. And notice how your body feels. I know for some people it's hard to have their throat exposed like that. And doing that as we have our chest open, it could be a lot. So just take a moment and check in with your body. Notice any types of sensations you may feel. You bring your feet to meet the ground, bending your knees, kind of moving our hips over to one side as we roll to the other side. Slowly and gently pushing ourselves up to a seated position um, where we will prepare for our next posture. So if you just want to make your way to our tabletop position, um, making sure your joints are stacked properly. And then we're going to tuck our toes and take it to down dog. Go ahead and do any stretches that feel good to you right now. Maybe you want to walk it out a little bit, bending your knees, pushing your chest into your thighs. And then we're going to lift our right leg into the air. And we're going to bring our right foot to our left hand and our right knee to our right hand for um, pigeon pose. We're going to do lion pigeon pose. You can use whatever props. Maybe you want to use a pillow under your right sit bone. And maybe you want to use a pillow, another, maybe a bolster pillow or a big, bigger pillow. 
to just lower yourself down on as you really sink into this posture here. There's so many benefits to this posture. It's very restorative to us. And the more benefit or the longer you stay in this posture, the more benefits you can get from it. So let me lie the other way. Let's see. And you, you want to give your body all the support it needs to just really sink into this posture. All right, let's bring our hands under our shoulders, slowly pushing ourselves up, tucking that right foot, those toes, I'm sorry, left toes, tucking those left toes under and pushing ourselves back up into down dog. Go ahead and walk it out, alternate touching each heel to the ground. And then we're gonna lift that left foot in the air bringing that left foot to our right hand and our left knee to our left hand and just sinking down into this posture yet again, um, using our props to support us in it because it's about restoration. And we're still gonna get the benefits of the posture and the stretching, but we also want to make ourselves um, a little comfortable just to make the posture sustainable. So whatever props you need to allow yourself to sink into this, use them. And once you find that sweet spot, just come back to your breath. With every exhale, just sinking deeper and deeper into this posture. Using that breath to transport you whenever you start to wander, when your mind starts to wander, use that breath to just transport you back to the present. Staying in the moment, staying with your body.
Mommy, are you done? No, please go in the mirror, please. Trying to check on you. Thank you, honey. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and put our hands under our shoulders, slowly and gently, pushing the earth away from us. Tucking those right toes under, pushing ourselves up into down dog, alternating each heel touching the ground. Maybe both of them touch the ground this time, really stretching the backs of those legs. Then lowering our knees slowly to the ground, bringing ourselves to a seated position. As we prepare for our final pose, uh, you could use your pillow, and this time it's gonna go towards the bottom of your mat. Um, maybe a stack of pillows if you'd like. This is a fully prone backline pose. Um, you'll probably want padding beneath you for support, maybe for your head and knees. Um, if you wanna grab a blanket or an eye pillow to soothe your eyes, just arranging your props so that you can reach them easily. So if you need any props while you're in this pose, um, you can grab them. And then just lie on your back with your heels as wide or wider than your mat. Your arms at your side with your palms up away from your body. This relaxes your shoulders. Some yoga traditions suggest that your upper arms should move away from the torso so they do not touch the body at all. Just find a distance that feels comfortable for you and one that will not aggravate your shoulders or wrists. Make sure your head rests at a neutral angle with the head fully supported and your face parallel to the ceiling. So um, while you want your head to be supported, you don't want any kind of cricks in your neck. And again, making sure that all your, par your um, props are within reach. So that way, if you need to grab them, they'll be right there for you. Separating your teeth, but keeping your lips together, relaxing your jaw, letting your feet just fall open, relaxing your hips. Not worrying about, you know, your core even, just relaxing your belly. Your chest is open, but also it's relaxed. Your hands, relax your arms, relax your shoulders, relax your neck, relax your head, relax your eyes. Relax all the way from the tip of your toes to the crown of your head. Just feel yourself melting into the earth. And if your mind starts to wander, remember just using that breath to transport you back into this moment, being present in your mind and your body. Don't think about your weekend plans. Don't think about any work or family. Just think about this moment. Think about your breath. Allow your mind to rest. This pose is designed to help you cease an act of ego and invite you into self of being. This is the point of the practice at which all the benefits are absorbed into the five layers, energy, physical, emotional, intellectual, wisdom, and spiritual. Just bake into Savasana. Your more integrated and grounded self embodies the wisdom of the practice and this allows you for a more effective assimilation of your values into all of your relationships.
Maybe you are searching among the branches for what only appears in the roots. So really ground down in this pose, in this posture. Don't go searching and wondering, but instead grounding and centering. Let's bring some gentle movement back to our bodies by wiggling our fingers and our toes. Just rock your arms and legs slowly from side to side. Rock your head from side to side, just shaking it no very slowly. Reach your arms up onto the ground above your head and stretch your long body. And bring your knees to your chest and hold the backs of your thighs or the backs of your knees. Rock from side to side, giving that spine a nice little massage. Release the right arm over your head and roll to the right. Stay here for a moment. Taking a few breaths here in this fetal position. Bring to mind the purpose of all this work, the clearing, the cleansing, the strength, the respect and honor and grace you have brought to your life and the life you share with others. With confidence know that you have something valuable to share. Say thanks. Push your arms into the earth to come to a seated position. Crowning down through your sit bones, keeping that spine long and tall. Take a few deep breaths here, keeping your eyes closed. Gently coming back to your reality, your lives. 
ready to take on anything. You're restored, you're rested, relaxed. Whatever you have after this, maybe you're ready to soak in a bath or just go straight to bed or you know, whatever plans you have. Just know that you took the time to care for your body, showing it the love and compassion it really deserves for getting you through this walk of life. Bringing your hands to heart center, bowing in gratitude to your body, your wonderful, beautiful bodies, and to this practice. Namaste. Thank you, ladies.